Okay, so guys, thank you for coming. Thank you. Um, I just want to know, you know, of all the countries that you could go to 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 do your both of you did your masters here. Yes. And you're now doing your PhDs. Uh, of all the places you could go to do your postgraduate studies, why, why did you choose Korea? Um, I think, uh, Meme, you go first. Well, I think it's the Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> Korea has the best Wi Fi in the world. I'm, I'm just joking. But I think Korea has a lot of experiences that are different from everything I had. So I think coming here, like, I love the word challenge. You learn about new things and then you study and then you see people who give you a different impression of what you know about the world. Korea has given me all of that and more. Okay, thank you. And Frank, same question. What do you think? Thank you. For me, I think Korea has caught the attention of the world in terms of industrialization and then also speaking from the perspective of a um, theology background, uh, Christianity is also, was also rising in Korea. All the biggest churches could be found here. And then I also considered the transformational processes that Korea has gone through. And I realized that it is the best place to study in terms of um, theology. That is why I chose Korea. And also, I have already had experience in working with Koreans in Africa, so certainly that will influence my decision in choosing Korea uh, out of all the other countries. Right. Th thank you. Okay, so, okay then. Let me also say a few things. Um, I, um, my focus is on r economic development, and you know, you know the miracle on the Han River. Mm and how Korea, through accelerated development, was able to turn the fortunes of its citizens around in uh, Wiska. And so for me, Korea has always been a case study. Mm -hmm. And so when the opportunity came for me to go to a place to, to further my studies, I, you know, and Korea came knocking, uh, you know, there was no question about it. So, but to your answers are interesting and if you know one particular thing that is also interesting is the fact that people in the area of ICT could say the same thing people in the area of automobile say the who say the same thing mm -hmm. people in the area of shipbuilding mm -hmm. could say the same thing people in the area of healthcare could say the same thing so it's not just about economic development, it's also about many other sectors. And so um, it goes beyond uh, YGU, it goes beyond uh, what is taught here. Uh, Korea is actually the hotbed for a lot of opportunities now. And I hope, you know, it will continue to attract the brightest and, uh, and the best, you know, in all spheres of life. So let's talk about benefits. Uh, we all know, you know, it's been positive since we came here, but I want to hear the stories. Um, how have you benefited? How have you benefited? Uh, thank you. For me, I must say that I have benefited immensely in terms of scholarships, in terms of support by professors, and not just professors in my department, but it cuts across. And you look at the enabling environment they've created, the serene atmosphere, and the love, the support, trying to get the best out of you as a student. And it is not an atmosphere that discourages people. This atmosphere is so unique that even if you don't know, you are desiring or desperately uh, looking out to learn something or to get something out of what you are being taught. So. Uh, the benefit is so interesting and so um, amazing, to, to, to say the least. It's so amazing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, my, my benefits. Well, I could spend the whole day talking about benefits, <laughs> but I'm just going to try and summarize. So I think for me, the first benefit is people. So at Yemen Graduate University, I've met a lot of wonderful people, the staff, 
and people from Africa, from other places of Africa. Those are opportunities I didn't have, or get, got to have in Africa myself. So coming here, first of all, meeting people who shared different perspectives when it comes to leadership, when it comes to love, when it comes to Christianity, all those things make me see life from a different perspective, which is why I'm here and which is why I want to continue learning being in this kind of environment because I think it fosters the kind of spirit which I am looking for. Thank you. Okay. All of you forgot to mention peace. <laughs> uh, uh, um, I think you, 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 you talked about peace of mind, uh, but the peace I'm talking about here is the, is the peace that comes with the security uh, kind of peace, which you normally uh, take for granted these days when, when you're here. Uh, one very important benefit. But when I was in the classroom as a student, I, like you mentioned, I had you know, a cocktail of colleagues, you know, from all over the world, Asia and Africa, uh, just to name a few. And uh, the experiential knowledge I acquired through interactions uh, was, um, was special. You know, every day was, every school day was like an international conference for me. Yeah. And you have the opportunity of speaking to people about the issues in Kathmandu because they are from Nepal. Or you speak to people from uh, Rangoon and the issues in Myanmar or people from Manila on, you know, um, diversity in, in, you know, gay rights and stuff like that. So it was a beautiful experience and it has enriched my understanding of diversity. It's enriched my understanding of culture. It's enriched my understanding of the uniqueness of, 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 of humanity and God's creation. And something like this you can buy with money. Something like this you can buy with... Um, uh, resources you just have to experience to to know but uh, moving forward I my background is research you know I am a research professor and um, both of you are PhD students so I'm in very good company let's talk a little bit about research in the university um, how is it going what are we doing to ensure that as students, we improve our research capacity. And uh, you know, there's something called dissertation that must be completed before we, we get a doctor designation. So what are we doing about that? Meme, you go first. OK. With, with pleasure, Prof. Duke. So I would first of all say that I'm very appreciative of the professors and the academic staff, because they really push us at YGU, Yemen Graduate University to focus on our thesis. They make sure to remind us every time that time is of the essence when it comes to writing papers. Also, I would say Yemen encourages students to do stuff extracurricularly out of school when it concerns their research. An example is that we have a group in my, in my class where we do research papers. So the goal is to publish papers in credible journals, which can be peer reviewed, which also helps in the thesis process. So basically, with this group extracurricularly, we still have the opportunity of a professor who can monitor us during the research process to help us in teaching us the skills we need, which are necessary for writing. And I think this is a real boon when it comes to the final process, like the professor says, evaluation, the thing that we all dread and we want to pass. So I think it's really great. Thank you. Frank, it's good. Frank, any thoughts? Yeah, my, my thoughts are not different from what Meme has just said. You know, right from the word go, you are made to understand that the ultimate goal of your PhD is to be able to put together a very good dissertation, which the university focuses on that. And professors like you are very keen in teaching students and uh, taking them through the modalities and also which methods they have to use to be able to finish in time so they could graduate. And as you said earlier on, the focus should be that you shouldn't have a mind of staying, but you should have a mind of finishing quickly and leaving. And that is where the opportunity will be open up to you. So it becomes a challenge like Meme and myself and other students to make sure that we put in more effort. And we, also, we will also encourage 
any other person watching us who will want to come here to have that, kind, that same attitude and that same mindset when they are coming so that the best out of them will be able to come out for the university to be able to identify that and to open more avenues for them, for them to also excel. So in terms of dissertation, I believe that this our university, YJU, is the best place for students to come and to be able to write very good papers and graduate quickly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, finally. Graduating quickly is, uh, is very important. And one thing I want to, I like to underscore about the research component of, of universities is that when we, the more we publish, you know, advertising puts our name out there for students to come in. But the standing of the university rises when our names uh, appear in high quality journals. Yeah. So you are a student here, you write a paper, your name appears and the university's name appears. Gradually, the university gathers momentum in the academic circles. And so um, top tier uh, journals begin to notice us and begin to invite some faculty members onto their advisory boards and editorial boards and review as reviewers. The more we do this, the more the name of the university rises. And the equity you, all of us have put into to being students continue to rise. Because I don't want to mention names, but you hear the names of some universities and you know the students have higher equity than others. For our equity to continue to rise, we need to continue to publish. That's one reason. The second reason is for our own growth, because there is something in the academic circles that says, publish or perish. If you don't publish, you perish. And anybody who has a PhD designation at the end of their names, um, ostensibly, uh, is a researcher and a philosopher because the PH means philosopher, philosophy. So you need to be a philosopher, and every philosopher is a, is a thinker. And the more you think, you need to put it on paper, or you go, or you go crazy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so it is very important that we keep publishing so that we live up to the PhD designation that we are all seeking to have. So Meme and Frank, thank you very much for the discussion. And uh, I hope this is the beginning of more discussions to come. Yeah, thank you very thank much. You thank you very much. Come to Yemyong. Yemyong Uro Oseyo.